agents are now pretty much appearing everywhere where you can use Microsoft 365 Copilot. And these powerful tools will allow you to use Microsoft's AI in new ways to gain more value. But how should you get started? The easiest option right now is just by clicking on the Create Agents option in BizChat and building one using a handy new agent builder interface. In this video, I'll walk you through building your first agent using Agent Builder, show you how you can use the agents you build here, consider some of the differences versus other agent builder options, and look at some of the possibilities and limitations of what Microsoft has brought to Copilot with the addition of agents. But first, a quick introduction. My name is Nick DeCorsi. I'm the owner of Bright Ideas Agency, a digital transformation consulting company focused on helping smaller businesses get the best from AI. Check out the links below if you're interested in learning more about me or my services. Here in BizChat, whereas the key part of the interface for Copilot extensibility was this set of toggles in the bottom right of the chat interface, the new hub for this is up in the top right. By default, you're using the whole of Microsoft 365 Copilot, but you can select an agent in your list like Visual Creator to jump into another tailored experience with its own capabilities and starter prompts. You also have a Get Copilot Agents option that will take you to the app screen to select third-party or org-promoted agents. But the option we're going to focus on in this video is the Create Agents option. This opens a new Agent Builder interface, which is the most accessible starting point for anyone wanting to build an agent. But before we start building agents, it's worthwhile to take a second to consider what exactly an agent is. I think there's a lot of misunderstanding about this point, as I think many users see the term agent and jump to some autonomous AI-powered assistant that could just get on and do anything we need to help us. And while this would be an AI agent, that isn't really the scope of this technology right now. And probably what you'll be thinking about when you start to build agents will be rather more basic. In previous videos, we've considered that Copilot extensibility is the extension of two different planes of Copilot's capabilities, its knowledge and its skills. But even with a commercial AI assistant like Copilot or ChatGPT, there's something sitting in the middle of its knowledge and skills that in many ways is the special source of how it goes about responding to your inquiries. Its instructions are what we've referred to as its system prompt. This is the rule set the AI vendor gives to the underlying AI model and probably is the explanation for why Copilot will often respond to the same prompt radically differently than ChatGPT, even though it's using exactly the same AI model. Agents in Microsoft 365 Copilot essentially give us the ability, on top of defining specific knowledge and skills, to establish our own secondary system prompts or a set of instructions for how a particular agent should deal with a specific type of inquiry in a more tailored way than Copilot might out of the box. So at the most basic level, an agent can simply be a way of repeating the same set of instructions to Copilot over and over without having to retype them or copy and paste. Upon opening the Agent Builder, you are presented with a chat interface that provides a guided outline of how to create an agent using just natural language. I'm going to create something simple based just on instructions. In this case, my agent will be an English to French translator. Giving a few simple instructions, the Agent Builder builds out the agent, and on the right, you can try out how it works. Now, I'm not so good at French, so if I take a response and throw it into Google Translate, I can see that at least by that standard, this translator agent does a good job. Before we move on, if this overview is valuable to you, please do give it a like and drop me a comment to let me know how Agent Builder is working out for you. Also, if you want to see more like this, I'll have a lot more Copilot agents focused overviews coming soon. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Jumping into the configuration screen, you can see that we have certain fields we can use to customize the agent here. You can set a name and description and icon. You have up to an 8,000 character window for instructions. And you can add knowledge, more on that later. Turn on web content. This means giving the agent the ability to browse the internet and set starter prompts. We don't have access to actions yet, but this will be coming. And if we choose to build an agent in Copilot Studio, we can use them now. More on that in another upcoming video. 
Once you click on create, your agent will be created and published for you. The link you are given takes you to the app screen and allows you to just open your agent or else you can just click on go to agent and it will open in BizChat. From here, you can pin the agents you want to see or uninstall them if you don't. If you need to edit an agent, just click on create agent, select the agent you need from the drop down if it's there, or if you don't see it, click on view all agents to see a full list. Make the edits you want and click update. And from here, you can also share your agent with others. Microsoft has built a whole range of its own agents for you to try. And helpfully, they have released the code for these so that we can see how they built them. But because of how agents work, outside of a few lines of common code needed to get things set up, they are all basically natural language instructions. Here, for example, we can see the instructions that are included with Microsoft's Prompt Coach agent. They give a detailed breakdown of how the agent should behave, fully customizing the responses it will give. And for context, this level of detailed instruction still only consumes less than half of the 8,000 characters available in that instructions field. So you could get even more detailed if you wanted. And if you want more details on how to craft effective instructions, there's an entire page on Microsoft Learn dedicated to building effective instructions for Copilot agents. Links to both of these resources will be below. Now let's jump into another example to talk about adding knowledge sources to agents. In my last video, I demonstrated how using agents in SharePoint, you could create a policy assistant to help ensure that project planning documents aligned with company policies. I'm going to build out exactly the same agent using the agent builder here instead. I can use the same instructions and the only slight difference is how we add knowledge. I can go ahead and add files or content from SharePoint sites, but not external knowledge. Here, I'm adding my project files and policies. Depending on what you're adding, it seems to take a little time to prepare the data. I'm guessing there's some sort of re-index for this purpose, but I'm not entirely sure what's going on in the background, but it can take a few minutes to um, seem to complete this. With so much going on in the world of productivity AI, working out how to get the best from this technology can be both time consuming and confusing. I help businesses like yours with their co-pilot adoption journey, from advisory help on the selection of the right AI tools, to technical advice with their implementation, to end user and leadership training, and support with extending their capabilities across your operations, just like we're doing with agents here. Whether you are just thinking about which AI solution to choose, or if you're already in the midst of using Copilot, I will help you to maximize your return from your investment in AI technology. Check out the links down below and get in touch to start working with me. Once our knowledge is prepared, we can go ahead and test our agent. And for time considerations in this video, I've just gone ahead and opened it in BizChat. And you can see that I end up with much the same response from Copilot as I did in SharePoint in my last video. There's a link to that video down below if you're interested in seeing that. The important validation point here is that I inserted a specific non-compliance about vendor location in my documents, and Copilot has found that pretty well, just as it did when I used exactly the same type of agent in SharePoint. But are there advantages to using the declarative agent in BizChat versus building it in SharePoint? Well, yes. Jumping back into Copilot, I can call any of my agents using an app mention. And while doing so doesn't open the entire agent experience, it includes starter prompts. It does allow me to chat with my agents in the flow of my ongoing work with Copilot. So for convenience, I've got the same agent open here and let me repeat the same prompt. I get much the same response, but what I can do here that I couldn't do, either just opening this agent directly or in SharePoint, is jump straight back into the normal biz chat and ask a follow-up. In this case, I want to know whether I've received an email that gives me any more information on the risks that I found. And you can see immediately that BizChat is able to jump between contexts and find information in my email that's relating to the request that I just got some information back from the agent for. And of course, the other thing we can do in BizChat that we 100% cannot do elsewhere is push all this content to a Copilot page. But why on earth you'd want to do that, I couldn't say. So overall, you can see that if you work on getting the right detailed instructions, 
you can build a fairly useful agent using the agent builder from BizChat, and you never have to touch Copilot Studio. So should you be excited about agents? Yes, these may transform how we use Copilot, but also be cautious and continue to take seriously the fact that AI can and will be wrong. Be excited for the future of work with AI, but be responsible in its use to avoid negative consequences for you or your business. Have you tried these out yet? Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching through to the end. Until the next video, bye bye.